Hello, this is H.E. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest VI! Let's pay a visit to Lord Zenith and see if he can help us out. I'm sure he'd be willing. What's with that well down there, anyway? Well, first things first, let's check out the archives here. That's... You mean like a black hole? Well, it wouldn't be the first black hole that I've encountered. It wasn't that hard. How hard could Mortimer possibly be? Just Carver alone could wreak havoc in Mortimer's domain. But alright! Another dreamscape. Awesome. There's actually a few we can get here. I don't have it in my notes, but I forget if some of these are not here in the Android version. I thought, like, some of them, or all of them, weren't here. They removed some of the dreamscapes. But anyway, yeah, we gotta find a way to get to this Dread Realm. No highway to hell this time. Oh, well, if it's not dream or reality, then what is it? Imaginary? But another dreamscape we can get here. Awesome. How's it going? Oh, yeah, they were kind of talking about that. Hmm. Now, let's see if we can find this flying steed. Sounds like a plan. How do we get there, though? Well, we got an, uh, the last dreamscape around here. Awesome. Well, let's see if we can find some more useful stuff there. We're almost have enough uh, mini medals to get a really good reward. Oh, yeah, so we did. We just happened to be in the area, and uh, we stumbled onto your place. You could have told someone in the real world, or the dream world, that you, you used to be here, but now, apparently not. What do you mean? Oh, uh, sure, I guess. How are we going to take Pegasus to the Dread Realm anyway? I mean, how many people could you possibly fit on a horse? I don't want to know. What does Pridic mean anyway? Does, is that like however or something? I don't know. But anyway, if you change the camera angle here... You can find a hidden treasure! Mini Metal 88. Alright. You only have two guards? Man, no wonder they took over this place so easily. I thought you were a dragon. Oh, well, you're welcome. It's part of the job. It's in the contract. I am going to be getting paid for this, right? Oh, yeah, some people have been telling us. We only found out about his name, like, an episode or two ago. Oh. Well, that's it? Just four? Well, yeah, we have been getting a lot of really good stuff from that place. And this place, too. Sorcerium? Not so much. We got a spell that we'll never use. Oh, so how do we get there? Yeah, that's what everyone else has been saying. What barrier? Nuts. Got a backup plan, huh? Oh, so that's why they had someone guarding the well there. Well, yeah, that's where we're going to have to go in order to progress with the plot. But now that we have the Thunderbolt Blade, I have some other side quests that I want to do now. to make life a lot easier. Sounds like a plan. First things first, we got to get back to the real world. And let's see. Well, you remember way back at Arcbolt? 
there was someone who was looking for that blue swordsman? Well, now we have him in our party. And I don't mean Rex. No, we need to get Terry into our party here. He also joined up reasonably well leveled, too. So, I could use him. But he doesn't really bring anything to the party that I don't already have. So, it's kind of pointless. I mean, if you want to use the brute force method, hey, go nuts. Terry's great. But I prefer some finesse. I prefer more precision with my strategy. So let's put it that way. But anyway, yeah, Terry defeated Lucy so long ago. Sure, why not? I don't think I've had a dragon in my party before. Well, not in this game anyway. But all right, more party members. And one of the things about Lizzie that makes her really good is that she has access to the dragon jab class, which lets you learn all of those ice and fire breath abilities, including the mighty K -K -K cold breath, which is really good for level grinding because like almost nothing resists it. Well, maybe not almost nothing, but anything that I really care about. So anyway, one thing I want to do before doing some side quests, well, I want to upgrade our new Thunderbolt blade. So let's head on to the Fashion Forge and do that. So yeah, what I'm going to do with Lizzie eventually is I'll bring her into my party and start working on learning some new abilities. And that'll really help out with some level grinding that I'm going to be doing soon, in part because we got the Thunderbolt blade now. That makes level grinding immensely faster. 80 damage, all enemies, nothing resists it. Well, almost nothing. So, yeah, that'll be really, really helpful for us. But okay, yes, yeah, so now that we got that upgraded, we can win the last round of the Best Dressed Contest. So, let's head on back to Wellshire. And it should be a pretty quick trip to get back over there. I want to use Padfoot so that way we don't... Uh, run into any weak random battles along the way. Don't need Terry around anymore. Terry's also a good party member to use for the best dressed contest. He seems to have a pretty good style stat. I mean, apparently from what people were saying, he was the sass assassin before. At least assuming that that's who they were talking about. But yeah, I already got Rex doing that, so I don't need more help for that. I could just off-screen all of this part and just skip to the end of the contest, but, well, they got a little bit of unique dialogue here, so I figured, well, eh, okay, I'll show stuff off. But let's head on inside. Now, let's see. What I want to do here is one of the reasons why I wanted to upgrade the Thunderbolt Blade is because there's a combo where you can get some bonus points with it that'll really help us out push us right over the top so we can win the final round, or level, whatever. How many Sass Assassins do you got? But, uh, sure, yeah, we can handle it. Well, good thing I'm feeling sassy today. But anyway, okay, yeah, let's get in the back there. Now well, you don't have much style there, Carver. Sorry. I love you, man, but eh, that's just not your thing. Okay, well, anyway, let's see. For Rex, since I'm going to be using him again, we want the Thunderbolt Blade. And you can make a combo with it with the Tempest Shield that I already upgraded a while ago. And you get 35 bonus points with that. Not to mention the bonus points you would have already gotten from those two, which is already pretty darn high. It's even better than, use, than using the legendary equipment set, because the sword and shield don't quite have that great of style stats on their own. I mean, there is a set bonus for all the legendary stuff, but uh, it's not... The, the equipment itself doesn't have as much style. This, uh... The way I have my equipment set up here, that helps us out a bit more than that. Oh, and by the way, 
Uh, in order to win this round, you have to have, I believe, at least 360 style points. You might have seen Rex's stats there. He had 335. But since I have the 35 point bonus from the Thunderbolt, Blade, and Tempest Shield combo, we get 35, and that brings us up to 370. So that'll help us out a lot getting through this. By the way, as long as we're uh, going through the contest here, there is one thing I wanted to uh, ask you guys if you want me to show it. Uh, I am going to be going back to Slimopolis. Now that we got the Thunderbolt Blade, it'll be pretty easy for us to get through the remaining ranks there. Uh, one thing I do want to do is at rank B, I want to actually clear that twice to get an additional uh, reward from that rank. Let's just put it that way. Uh, let me know if you want me to show the rematch because your stats are cut in half for that one and it, well, that would naturally make it a lot harder to win that round. I mean, it's still essentially the same idea as before, even though your stats get cut in half, but there's a lot less margin for error there. So, I mean, if you guys aren't interested, fine. I'll just uh, show the one round and then uh, move on. And I will be doing some job grinding in the near future, too. I want to get Rex out of the Luminary job class and, well, unlock the Hero job class, since you only need to master one of the jobs, or the Tier 2 jobs, in order to unlock the Hero job class, and it'll be totally worth it. I'm not going to do any grinding in the Hero class just yet, though. I just want to uh, get through all this stuff first. Get a little better equipment and stuff going. Oh yeah, we're all fabulous here. By the way, for this round, you can use uh, any party member you want. Male, female, monster, doesn't matter. You just need to get 360 style points and you'll be good to go. Oh yeah, and he was also talking about the happy hat. One of the nice things about that... Well, it, it has more defense for Ashlyn. Oh, wait, I'll, uh, I'll go over that in just a moment. Let's get through this first. Does she? I wonder if the head judge ever just votes. You know, know what? I don't like any of them. Screw you. She seems to always have a bad attitude for some reason. Three seventy. All right. Good. Good. Hey. All right. Well, at least we get a decent reward for winning this round. I mean, it's not spectacular, but. Well, we really don't have anything better for now. Ex well, yeah. All right. So, yeah, I'll be giving that to Ashlyn in just a moment, since she's using her magic a bit more often than Nabon does. Oh, by the way, with the Thunderbolt Blade, I'll be giving that to Nabon. He can equip that, too, and it really helps him out. Not just with the damage, but also being able to use it as an item to cast Zap. Because he doesn't have a whole lot of, uh, what is it, uh, attacks that can hit all enemies. I mean, he's got Boom, but that's about it for now. He doesn't even learn Kaboom the way I have him set up. I think only the Sage Jab class can get that, if I recall correctly. Uh, Armamentalist gets Kafrizzle. But all right, that's everything we can do there. Now, let's see. The happy hat, yeah. When you walk around with it equipped, it restores some of your MP. Not that that really matters that much, because I never run out of MP. Well, maybe not never, but at this point in the game, I will probably never run out of MP anyway. Even without it. But for now, let's get back to the dream world. Head on over to Slumopolis. See if we can win another round. Round, or, well, rank B is probably what I consider to be the hardest rank. Even harder than rank A. I mean, rank A has its own challenges. But, well, you'll see. 
Round B, or rank B, can either be really easy or really hard, depending on how lucky or unlucky you get. But anyway, I do want to give him the Miracle Sword as usual. Platinum Shield to help out with some magic resistance there, mostly for Frizzle. And now what I'm going to do here, actually, give him the Thunderbolt Blade, but don't equip it. So that way he can use it as an item during battle, and that'll really help out in the remaining two rounds there. Or ranks, whatever. Now what I'm doing here is I'm giving him the Hellas Armor, so that way if the enemies either get really lucky or they just go nuts on him, or go into pissy boss mode or something, he will always have his turn last and can react to that with full heal. Worst thing that could happen is that maybe Gawain gets lucky, he goes first in a round, and then the enemies wail on him, and then he gets unlucky in the next round, goes last, and doesn't have the time to heal. So this way I can guarantee that the enemies will only get so many attacks in on him before he has a chance to heal in every round. So yeah, I don't want, like, the Meteorite Bracer or Agility Ring or whatever. No, no, not this time around. This battle is probably the hardest one in the uh, Slumopolis here, because the, what's that guy called? Uh, the Scythe Bork. Oh, I got really lucky to dodge that. <laughs> but yeah, here's the problem, is that the Scythe Bork there uses Frenzy, and he'll attack a random target, including himself or his allies or whatever, and there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, he could just one-shot you real easily. But I got... Yes! All right! But yeah, I got fortunate, fortunate enough in order to survive and be able to kill them. I got unlucky, though, in that once I killed him, the bomb boulder went kerplunk, and yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. So, yeah, that, it's just so dangerous there. It's just so much luck involved with that fight because of the Scytheborg. And usually, you will kill him before he can... Or what? Yeah, you'll kill him before the bomb boulder will cast kerplunk. And, yeah, that's a problem. But yeah, you see here, like in the first round, and then the second round here, that all the enemies are in different groups. Which is one of the reasons why the Thunderbolt Blade is really good. Whew! Man, I am barely surviving here. See, that's another reason why I have the Hellas Armor here. To help protect against uh, the Frizzle spells that they got. And that's also why I got full heal for Gawain, so that way he can just keep on going there. Oddly enough, round, or not round, rank B is the first battle is the hardest, and the last battle is the easiest, in my opinion. Yeah, this one, pretty easy. He doesn't have anything that can just go insane and leave you no time to react. All you gotta do is just use the Thunderbolt Blade over and over again. If he damages me a lot, okay, we can full heal. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, he doesn't even deal that much damage there. So, oh right, got it. But yeah, I suppose there's a good reason why rank B is the most difficult one because it has one of the best rewards you can get. The Metal King Shield. It has a lot of defense and a lot of uh, elemental resistances that can really help you out. But can we succeed in beating rank A of the uh, Slimeopolis? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest VI. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.